Hello everybody, it's Mystic and welcome back to my library. This is episode five of Let's Play Planet Zoo. And in the last episode, we got some leucistic peafowl babies. Actually, we got four of them. So I think that's the maximum number they can have. And they are all so beautiful. These are their, their uh, normal colored half siblings here. But yeah, we got we got a full flock? Litter? What would you call baby baby peafowl? I, I don't even know. But anyway, we got we got all we got a bunch of them. And so I'm super happy about that. We also accidentally fired one of our veterinarians. I totally didn't mean to do it. I really, really didn't mean to do it, but um I uh, I did. I fired him. I meant to change his work zone and I fired him. So uh, yeah. Anyway. Um, what, what's going on with this guest? I just clicked on her randomly and she's having a million issues, but she's thirsty. You didn't come here to see the staff facilities. How are you seeing that? Oh, no, that's a bathroom. What's your problem? The staff facilities? Hang on. Is, is anybody else? Facility buildings. Wait, so you can see these? Oh, so, all right. Well, I guess before I do anything, I need to put up some fences or something. Because apparently these buttheads are having an issue with um, the, the facility buildings. I Okay, look, when I go to a zoo, I don't uh, sit there and complain about whether or not I can see the facility buildings. I actually find them kind of cool. Because then you can, like... I don't know. I remember going to a zoo once when I was a kid and like seeing the veterinary building and it was like, oh my God. I, I mean, I don't know. I wanted to be a vet when I was a kid. So I thought it was amazing. The, what are the, what, I mean, come on guys. You know that people have to work here, right? Right? You know people work here. These animals don't just magically take care of themselves. Okay? You, you understand? Is there, is there a lot of people that are complaining about this? Hang on, I'm gonna- I need to look. And there goes my phone already. I just started recording, what? <laughs> okay. Let's see. Panda looks bored. Alright, is anybody else complaining about this? Yeah, everybody's complaining about the facility buildings! They're like, off in the distance! What is your problem? You can't even access them. Alright, alright. How do I do this? Do I just put barriers up? Can I put barriers up? Do I hide them? But Oh, do I hide them with trees? Can I hide them with trees? Can I hide them with like nature stuff? Let's try that. Let's see. So we're in a tropical climate, right? We're in Oceania. 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 I, I've been saying it wrong, haven't I? Tropical. All right. And I guess I'm just going to cover everything with trees and you guys better appreciate not you guys but like these guests better appreciate what i am doing for them i am spending my hard-earned money so that they don't have to see facility buildings because apparently that's a bad thing i i don't know seems fine to me i'm not even like doing i, I don't know i should make it look nice but I just want these butt heads to be happy. <sighs> Can't believe it. So rude. How dare this zoo have people work here? How dare these animals be taken care of? They should be taking care of their own needs because, you know, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't get I don't get guest logic here. I'm really not understanding it. I wonder if that's helping <laughs> at all. Can, do you care now? Can you still... Oh, maybe you can see this. Is this a problem too? Should I hide this with trees? Should I just, you know, cover my entire zoo with trees and hope that you guys can't see a single thing that might bother you? Stupid guests. Can't I just have a, a zoo without guests? Just... Just the animals. I don't care about the guests. I guess they're butt faces. Okay. I really don't know if this is helping. All I know is that I now have a lot of trees. I mean, I can't see it now. Right? Right. There. You cannot see them. They don't, they don't exist anymore. 
Out of sight. Out of mind. Please stop complaining about the facility buildings. They're fine. Oh, wait. There's more over here, aren't there? So, wait. Are these people complaining about it? Yeah, you didn't come here to see the facilities. Wow. The bongos are suffering in the heat? Aren't they, like, tropical animals? Oh my god, it's 42 Celsius? <laughs> okay. You know, one thing I didn't think about when making a zoo in the tropical climates is, uh, the heat. Yeah, I, I didn't think of that. I don't know how to block this off. But see, what I'm confused about is it's not technically in an area where they're supposed to be bothered by- oh. Oh. <sighs> okay, let me see if I can do something about that. Like, if it's hidden from your view, is that- is that gonna work? Should I make a zoo of, uh... Facilities? Like, okay, I know it looks terrible. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I know it looks awful. I can't put it anywhere else, though. So is there no way to block their view? Because they're still complaining about it. I wonder if that's the one they're complaining about. I... When they don't tuck the staff's facilities out of the way. Yeah, you know, I'm sorry. I, I have to power this zoo somehow, unless you'd like to get on a hamster wheel and do it for me. Because... I mean, what else would you like me to do? I've tried blocking it from your view. It's tucked away. It is now tucked away, but still you find it in your heart to complain. How about trees? How about trees? Will trees help? Will trees help? Or are you just a miserable curmudgeon that is never going to be happy no matter how many trees and walls I put up in front of this thing? Is that is this how we're gonna how we're gonna live our lives curmudgeonly? Okay. I'm just I'm just gonna I don't I don't think it's working. You would think that it would have some sort of effect, but it doesn't seem to be. Like how much more tucked out of the way does it need to be? Shall I dig it into a hole then? I don't have any place else to put it. I need to power some of this stuff. I have a feeling they're still complaining about it. I can feel it. My guest complaint sen senses are tingling. But I have no other way to do it. So are these people complaining about it? This scenery sucks. Well, so do you. I don't, I don't know what else to tell you, man. I cannot believe how hot it is. As somebody that lives in a northern climate, um, this, I would melt. This is not something that I would enjoy. Look at all these people. No, wait a minute. So do air conditioners help people too? Or is it only something that I can use for the animals? Um... Yeah, I don't think I can do anything about that. So they said that the- okay, wait, wait, wait. I need- oh, and you know what I also forgot to do? Oh, oh my gosh, my, my gorilla is having offspring already. But wait, one second, I forgot to rename my panda. Not her, not him. Where's the grill? Where's the grill panda? Where is she? They're so hard to find sometimes because they climb up and they are little, so they scurry around. I have no idea where she is. Is she inside the bamboo? 
Oh wait, I can just name her from the zoo list. Hang on. Retsuko. Okay. All right. Let's go. Let's go because the we're about to release a male gorilla to the wild. I would assume because she's about to have a baby. That happened fast. Wait a minute. It's July. Isn't that winter in Australia? Shouldn't it be cooler out? I mean, I know it's Australia. It probably doesn't get that cool. But shouldn't it be slightly cooler? And not 37 degrees? Baby. One baby or two? Just one? Yes? Okay. All right, we got baby. Got a little baby gorilla. Oh, I I know what I was good. Well, if I'm not keeping him, I'm not gonna name him. His name is Kyrie. <laughs> anyway, uh, I guess we can name him because we have to keep one of them, right? So we'll name him. Uh, Diddy Kong. He'll be Diddy Kong. I'm not gonna name them because I'll be releasing them. And actually, I'm gonna release the dad right now. Right? Because... Yeah? I mean, I need to start releasing them. I don't wanna leave this little guy all by himself, though. Let's at least release this guy. Okay. And no rewards for that? Oh, hey, I made it onto there. I guess you don't get a reward every time you release one? Hmm. I got a reward every time I did something with the tigers last time. It said I had a reward. I am very confused. Oh, wait. Oh, really? I hope that didn't overwrite this one. Because <laughs> that would be pooish. All right. Well, I guess... No, you know what? Hmm. I should probably... What happens if I get two other adults? Like, are they gonna... They're not gonna hurt the baby, are they? Because it's not theirs? I don't know how that works, but I want to get more gorillas so that I can release them. But they have to have a baby first. And actually, I guess having two gorillas... Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. This might... I don't know how this is gonna work, but I'm gonna put two other gorillas in here so that they can mate and then hopefully they have a girl so that whoever that is can mate with uh with diddy kong so let's release her rip all of my my uh conservation credits because i bought them for so much more than that how many do i need to release for the next level <laughs> i only got one reward so far I wonder how many in total you have to release. Oh, we still have three days left. Okay. But still. All right. Um, let's get two more. Uh, all of my conservation credits. I hardly knew them. Okay, let's uh, get rid of the red pandas because we don't need any more of those right now. And... Western Lowland Gorilla. All right, we'll start with female because that's what we're looking for. 10,000. No. Uh, let's search by price. Oh, and by the way, between recording this episode and the last episode, this is actually the same day, um, but I stopped to get some lunch and make some tea. Uh, there was an update to the game. I just hope that doesn't... Oh, yeah, it looks like the market board's still working. Oh, my God, they're so expensive. What? What? Okay, like that's that's really pricey for something that's, you know, red and, and yellow. Okay. Although I guess I understand why they're expensive right now, because everybody's trying to release them to the wild, so it is it is a seller's market at the moment. I guess well that stinks. I can't afford anything. I should have looked before I did that because they probably could have had another set of babies. <sighs> All right, 
let's get rid of that filter. And just go back to, wait, really? That's the cheapest one? I wonder if anybody's had an albino gorilla yet. I haven't seen one. And I check the Reddit every now and then, but yeah, it doesn't look like, uh... <sighs> I'm not going to be able to afford any of those. Oh well, what do you want? Now this little guy is all by himself and I feel bad. I am just messing up left and right here. And why are you not researching anything? Habitat blueprints? Do I want to research habitat blueprints? Or do I want... Oh, wait. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. We're going to do shelters and climbing because that's something that's going to be super important for all the climbing species that I have. All right. So that bongo. Now I can under... Now I can see if, if I can solve that mystery. I do think, though... That she is from a different father. Like I think I think this one arrived pregnant. I'm almost positive. This poor little gorilla is all by himself now, and I feel awful. He's all by his little lonesome. Although he actually doesn't care too much. He doesn't really care. I mean, yeah, the social group is zero, but the rest of his social needs are actually okay. So maybe it's not so bad. All right, where did that bongo go? Oh my gosh, I'm getting so many vet research projects. Okay, where is that baby? Right here? The baby? Yes. And okay, she's an adult now, so let me see something. Okay, she was not related to him. So do I keep her? Is she better? I mean, I might as well just keep both of them and get them both pregnant, right? She, yeah, she's not related to him, so she must have arrived pregnant. I really wish that they would put a, a family tree in here. I know that I, I think I heard that they're working on it. I hope that they are, because I think that that would be a really cool thing to have in this game. But anyway, um, yeah, well, he's I'm just going to have to keep an eye on the market board. Because right now they're just so expensive. I'll just refresh every now and then. See if I can find another one. Are these guys still complaining about this? Because I, I literally can't do anything about it. There's not a lot to do here. There's plenty of animals. Are they still complaining about it or no? Oh, nope, they're still complaining about it. So how does one fix this? I'd give this view of the removed species. I haven't removed a species. Hmm. Didn't come here to see the staff facilities. Well, maybe I didn't make this zoo for you. Yeah, I don't know what to do about this. Anybody have suggestions? Because I I feel like I've tucked it away as much as I possibly could. These are hidden. So I don't I don't know what to do. I don't know how to fix this. I feel like they're being unnecessarily salty. I wish I could get to a... F Why is it closed? <sighs> this is not going well. I swear... Oh, my vendors are all overworked. That, that would be why. Should I hire a few more vendors? Okay. I am going to give them some assignments. How do I do that? Um, maybe I should just make work zones. Because... Or these guys can be, I guess, like, floating? Oh, no, wait, no. I don't need them just sitting in the staff room, though. Maybe I should make... More... 
stuff. All right, hang on. Uh, let's align it to a grid. Uh, the heck? Why is this not working now? Oh wait, is it because I don't have an angled snap? I mean, that's not exactly what I wanted. Maybe I do have to align it to a grid. Except... <laughs> it's not working. Okay, um... What? Um... How do I do this? T-junction? Alright, wait. Let's get rid of the grid. I mean, I guess we could do something like that. Another little, like, tropical thingy here. Uh, that should be powered, because the, the thing that they're all complaining about is literally right there. Yeah, okay. Ugh, people don't even deserve facilities. Pain in my butt is what you are. Now you're gonna have to look at the guest at the staff facilities while you order your burger or your drink, and I don't care. I'm gonna have to figure that out eventually. But I feel like if I'm putting trees and fences in front of them, that I should be able to keep them from seeing it, but that doesn't seem to be the case. I don't know where they would like me to stick those staff facilities. And uh, loony balloons. Hey, I don't know if I need a big bathroom, but whatever. I don't care. There. More stuff for you buttheads. Okay. I haven't put any more benches in because, like I said, people don't sit on them. They're just there. I haven't seen a single person sit on a bench since this zoo started. <laughs> And I actually think that might be a bug. I don't I don't see them doing it. Hi boots. Welcome. Oh, I guess I've already met you. What now? 1300. Yeah, that might be a while. Okay. All right. Everything is looking pretty good. Oh my god, my phone is being so spammy today. Okay. There. Made you all new facilities. I don't want to see a single complaint about this. I'm going to have to look this up on how to fix this because <laughs> I don't know how much more it needs to be covered, but they're still being affected negatively by this. Like the minute they walk into this area. <sighs> Like, the minute they walk through this, their happiness just falls. And it is completely covered. Are there gates? Or like, are there other gates that I'm not seeing? Because these people are so mad. I don't see anything. I mean, I have walls, but... I don't know what to tell them. <laughs> if anybody knows what I can do about this, because like I've covered it with trees, I've covered it with a wall, but the minute they walk through here, they're all like, nope, my life is horrible. I hate this place. Blah, blah. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Don't know. Stupid guess.
Habitat cleanliness is a disease risk. Which one? You, the alert one away. Probably the peacocks. It's always the peacocks. All right, I should actually start promoting people, not promoting, but giving them training. I should probably like make sure these people are doing a good job, but I don't know. I feel like I've caught way too many vendors, but uh, it's okay. The vets are all claiming they are overworked. I mean, they're just researching stuff. What? Hello. I hope you're not complaining about my 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 staff facilities. I don't know how to fix it. Like I don't know how to. I don't know. I don't know. But see, I don't think people are complaining about these, right? Because they're outside of their their range. It's just that generator. I'm pretty sure it's just the generator. Oh, hey, somebody actually thought I had a good view. Usually they're always complaining about it. Woohoo, more gorilla stuff. Oh, I should see... I should see about getting some better climbing stuff. I feel so bad for this little baby. Just all by him, he's a little lonesome. Let me see if I can get a female. Or actually a female and a male. Uh, Alright. Let me refresh. Yep. Gosh, they're so expensive right now. I mean, I get it. I get it because our goal is to just send them to the wild, but it's tough. This one's a tricky one. Yeah, so I don't know. I feel like I've covered that as much as I can, unless the wall needs to be bigger. But I don't think that's the problem. I don't even know if I'm using the right kind of wall, if I'm supposed to be using a different wall. I don't know. There. Doesn't exist, okay? It's not here. Do I need to, like... Do that. Oh, and it's breaking, so that you know, there's that. Okay. How about that? <laughs> Is that better? Nope. Definitely not better. I need the loo. There was one right behind you, but good job. I think they're still complaining about it. I hate this place. Well, maybe this place hates you. I need the toilet. There was one behind you. I'm going to pick your pocket. Excuse me. <gasps> they picked a pocket. Yeah, people are still complaining about it. Oh, no. Uh, okay. It's probably the peafowl. How much do you want to bet? Tularemia? I think that's a peafowl disease. I feel like I remember them getting sick with it last time. Yep. Why am I not surprised? Here comes the vet. Let's have somebody start researching tularemia. Um... Well, who's researching the peacocks? We'll have you do it. Start researching that. Hurry up and get it to quarantine. So wait, I'm curious. Do they look different when they are sick? Docsh. Docsh. That's little bunny foo foo. Docsh. Dev. Where's Docsh? Here? Tularemia. Okay, so can I see it on him? I don't even remember what tularemia is. 
But I didn't take care of birds when I worked at the animal hospital that I worked at, so... I, I can't tell. Doesn't... I don't know, he looks... he looks normal. Let me take a look at one of his siblings. Where's little bunny Fufu? I mean, her eyes are brighter. And then let me go take a look at him again. I mean... No, like, he looks fine. I wish they had shown it. That would be cool. I don't know. That I used to work at an animal hospital. That kind of... Like, the fact that you get to research diseases in this game makes me, like super happy not happy but like that's pretty cool having worked in an animal hospital and gone to school for biology it's uh it's pretty neat that you get to do that can somebody come get the other bird <laughs> Is anybody gonna... Okay, here comes another vet. I might need to hire another vet, actually. High amounts of litter. Don't I have caretakers? Oy vey. Okay. Nope, I have one caretaker. Oh my god. GG Mystic. Let's get a couple. That poor guy <laughs> was just trying to do it all by himself. Okay. Oh boy. This is just- everything is going wrong right now. I still don't know what to do about that. So, yeah. But anyway, I think it's probably a good place to stop for now. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode, and if you do know how I can hide the staff's buildings from these people let me know because i would love to know why a barrier and a bunch of trees isn't working but anyway hopefully you enjoyed thanks for hanging out and i will see you next time bye